What's up guys, another great day on the water with Three Pound Fishing. Today I've got some special guests, without a doubt, have the owner creator of the original fish formula. He's gonna join me, Dave Beth Shears, and his grandson who actually has not fished with live scopes. So today we're gonna put him on some fish for the very first time. You're gonna get to see that and experience that, but also we're gonna get to talk about the original fish formula, bait pop, all these products that are being developed by the original fish formula. And Dave's in the house, so he'll be here shortly. We're prepping the boat. It's gonna be a great episode. Fish are definitely going to the boat today. All right, we got our first fish. Just started off the day, and it is a hammer. That is awesome. First fish on live scope, correct? Yep, it that, is. That's awesome. So, okay, that was John's first fish on live scope. Having a great time. Got them both in the boat right now. Dave right there, the creator of the original fish formula and bait pop, all the great products that we're using here at Three Pound Fishing. So, welcome aboard. Thank you. Glad to be here, enjoying uh, a day that God has given us to enjoy here. They're beautiful lake, uh, beautiful waters, and uh, John just caught your first fish. I did. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's awesome to have them aboard. So we got a bluebird day, water temperature roughly around 46 degrees, and we're casting at schools today, and uh, it's just a fantastic day. I look forward to sharing all the information, and uh, let's put more fish in the boat. Go, guys. You're out there. Do it again. So guys, what I've got is I've got the bait pop around my neck, which I gotta tell you, it makes it really convenient to put it on your bait. Yeah. We've, uh, all you have to do is punch a small little hole at the bottom and you can put it on any lanyard for that matter. But boy, that makes it a lot. Now I keep it in my cup holder, which I think is convenient, but this is, uh, start reeling. Really slow. That would be a little easier, guy. Right there. But anyway, to have the convenience of the bait pop around your neck, or it's the paste, or whatever one you choose, really nice and convenient right there with the lanyard. All right, give me one right here. Struggling on the right here. It's nice and so real right now. I can't even see it, but I know you gotta be right up there. Nice and slow real, yep. There you are. You're already taking it. See? It's the difference. Yep. It, it, I could, we could throw a float on there. I guarantee we catch a fish every time we yep. throw it out there. Pig. Pulled up right there. Great fish, man. Great fish. That's a solid eater. It, it eats it. It's a solid eater. Not as big as your first, but really good fish. On the back. Now we're not going to take none home with difficulty, and if you <laughs> cut oh, yeah. that down from a 30 foot cast down to a 20 foot cast or a 18 foot cast, it makes it better, right? For the novice fisherman, the guy that's just starting to fish, right. you know, so I think we tend to forget that, yeah. And wouldn't you say like bait pop is a great product also for novices, guys that need to learn how to see the exactly. Right, exactly. Talk about bait pop just real quick. It, it is a scent product, which the fish always need a scent, and it is a bait pop product for the fishermen to help you see your lures. If you're just starting with live scope, or if you're an old uh, user of live scope, bait pop can help you as a fisherman, both in different ways. The more, uh, I'll be the first to say, the more hours you have behind the screen, the better fisherman you are, the better you can see your lure. For the novice fisherman, definitely, bait pop will help you see your bait better. Get the hang of it. We're now throwing a, a bait without a supplement weight. We're trying to lighten it up. Actually, it did have bait pop on it there, Dave. We're adding some additional bait pop here. And Dave made a great point. It actually will add a little bit of weight to the bait so that if you're uncomfortable throwing a 30 second ounce jig it makes you feel a little bit more comfortable adds a little bit more weight by adding that that substance to it right there that is a great see with that weight there yeah. with no supplement weight you really have to whip that <laughs> people always question it says does it go away how long does it last folks it lasts a long time and i'm in the water right now nice slow drop 
and nice slow retrieval. A lot of times these fish want it a slow presentation. And there it is. Folks, they love that scent. It don't matter which one you choose. There's a lot of options. Right there, good fish. Right there, right there. And that line there, hard as you can, whip it. Oh, so it's a... So Dave's talking to us about, you know, how can we see our baits even better? We're messing with the settings on live scope. Let me actually show you what you posted. So some of the things, some of the things that Dave's talking about is one, you know, mess with your noise reject. I always play with mine at high because that's just the way I like my screen pitch black, but seeing your bait and seeing a lot of the activity and, and most people will say that's more of a live view when you move that noise reject to low or medium, you can choose. You also recommend, Dave, the TVG being off, correct? Yes. Okay, and we already have that in the off. But also we talked about color gain and I typically run mine on default, which is set around 50. Dave's saying, jack that up just a little bit, bring it up into the low 70s, and that will also help you see your bait. So I think these are these are all great tips for seeing your bait. Yes, one of the things that we're learning uh, is I, I really feel like forward-facing sonar is just is just scratching the surface. In five years from now, we'll be doing things different than we are today, and and our product is gonna is is continually to evolve because that it causes uh, our 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 break to show up better for us. But in five years from now. Who knows what the advancements are going to be? Uh, that's the exciting thing about forward-facing sonar. Is sonar is not what it used to be. I can remember in the day before flashing sonars, Hummingbird uh, come out with uh, with a flashing sonar, and and uh, Tom Mann was the inventor of that product. And but before that, people used, uh, if you can believe it, they used anchors and ropes and you felt along and when it dropped off you knew that you was on the drop off and you would uh, that was that was back in the old days of uh, fishing out of a, a lunar craft boat but uh it's 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 interesting to see the uh, the how that the industry has evolved and forward facing sonar is is a future you're not left of that head you're not going the direction Catch him, he's good for his catch him. <laughs> He'll show you the target, the line, the line he's talking about. Can you line up with something in the way? Keep going, go, 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 go. Boom, back. Yep. Oh, okay, okay. Grandpa I'll put you on the fish. That's what he did. <laughs> a, that one felt good. Dude, that is like really good fish for Egypt. Very impressed. Same and you throw to him and catch him. Blows your mind. Yep. So the guy come, the guy was fishing and uh, he it's dropped down. It is a real good put him fish. In the, yeah, 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 sure, why not? Oh, uh, uh, gotta have two for you to hold too. He uh, he dropped his bait down. And he caught one. And I thought to myself, me being know it all, okay. As his bird song, right? One of the drops. There he is. Go ahead. Is that a good one? 
hog boat fishing. <laughs> Jesus. They're going to be brothers and sisters. After putting that bait <laughs> pop on, it's working, isn't it? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> so, so, uh, uh, Another fish. Yep, another one. John, putting fish in the boat. What do you think about that, Grandpa? Oh man, it's nothing like it. <laughs> if you if you don't know about live scope, you will. Yes, sir. Let me show you guys what we're fishing here. That's what I was hoping to do. But so we're out here fishing these schools, and you can see them right there, guys. And they are just solid fish. For my home lake, these are really good sized fish. Anything a pound and a half and above is a is just a good fish. So we've got John here casting into them. You guys gotta remember now, John's new to this game of with a caster. So he is learning how to speed it up right there. Here we go. Boom! And yep. there it is. And uh and he has perfected it over the day today to put some fish in the boat. All right, there's good. And check this out. You just show off that fish there, John. That was awesome, dude. You're just gonna get that at, th you're just gonna get that at three pound fishing. He's got bait pop on it. We all got bait pop on it. He swallowed the same. Look at that. How you feel, man? Feel great. Caught so many, lost count. That's freaking awesome. All right, guys, we just ended a, a great day on the water. Following this episode, we're actually going to do an interview with Dave and the original fish formula just so we can show off some of the new products. That's right. You cool with that? Yes. So, yes. Let me show you. We got some fantastic fish. You're going to see some pictures, all that good stuff. But John and Dave put some massive fish in the boat, and uh, I'm excited to have you in the boat. It was a, a good day of fishing and uh, your grandson getting to learn about live scope. And you know, this is his first time to live scope. He's caught crappie before, push pulling or, or drifting or whatever you want to call it. Right. But uh, I think he's hooked after the day. <laughs> <laughs> those are great. They always get hooked after they see it. And I'll tell oh, you yeah. what, and your products are making it a lot easier for those guys to get started as well. So. Thanks, guys. Please subscribe. It's going to be a great episode. Pay attention. The next uh, episodes that are coming up are going to be a lot about bait pop and the original fish formula. Thanks, guys.